can't believe it. We're already halfway into July. I'm not ready. It's just flying by. This is insane. Can someone please hit the brakes? Um, I'm so happy to be live with you guys. My name is Tiffany Almeida. I'm with Pretty and Paper Crafts, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. I go live every Sunday for Coffee and a Card, where I show you Stampin' Up! product, and I create these super fun projects that you can recreate, and you'll have the tutorials, the project sheet. It's on my blog. I have a blog post for every Sunday that I go live. You guys, it's so much fun. And I have the Whale Done bundle today that you are going to absolutely love. So this is the Whale Done Bundle. You guys, it's a punch and I love punches. Makes me so happy inside to see a punch, yay. You have no idea. Um, this is a really fun bundle. I love the ocean, I love the water, I love the turtles. Everything about this set is so me. So I'm very excited to show you guys what I created with them. These are the three projects for the make and takes. Then we have the whale hello. My daughter told me she wanted a nor a norwell nor narwhal narwhal. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I've heard it different ways. But anyways, we put a little horn on his head and made him a cute little whale. This is done completely with the punch, and so I'm going to show you how to make a little whale out of the punch. And then I did the little fun pun. I love puns. So I was like, whale hello. How cute is that? Love it. We're gonna go ahead and get started with these three projects. The first one we're gonna do is our little narwhal, <laughs> little whale card, whale hello. I love a little play on words like that, don't you? Okay, so what we need for this, we will need the um, playful alphabet dies because that's gonna be our little hello sentiment. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my alphabet out of here. I know that I love, have you guys seen these dies? I love that it tells you where and how each letter goes. There's a little outline for each letter. So M and C and U, I love that. The OCD in me gets really happy. And it looks like, oh, I was gonna say, it looks like I'm missing one, but nope, I'm not. Okay, so we can get our letters that we need. And the really nice thing about these dies is there are duplicates of some of the letters that you'll need more of. So like two L's and two O's and two E's and lots of different um, two A's. So some of those common letters, there's more than one of, so you can cut more than one at a time. Now I'm gonna be using those fo uh, foam adhesive sheets for you with you today so that I can show you um, how, how great they are to pop things up. So the foam adhesive sheets are really nice because you can cut them down to size. So you can see I've been cutting mine as I need them. And what we're gonna do is I went ahead and cut two stitch nested labels. One in Balmy Blue and one in Whisper White. The one in Whisper White is just gonna go in the background of our letter, our letters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut hello out of the balmy blue, like so, but I don't know why I'm putting those on there yet, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the foam adhesive strips on the back of our label. So I'm gonna cut my label down to about two inches. I've kind of already pre-measured ahead of time. So I'm just putting this, I'm actually just putting this in my trimmer and just trimming it down to what I need. So here's two inches. And then I need to know the width of my label. It's about two and a half. So I'm gonna cut here at two and a half. You could do this by hand. You can just take your scissors and cut it that way too if you wanted. But you're just gonna find a piece that's gonna fit behind here. And I, I don't care about these two corners here, if they're cut or not. So what you're gonna do, and it doesn't matter which side, but you're gonna peel the backing off of one side of the foam adhesive strips. And I'm just putting this on the back of my label. And I don't want it to be seen. I don't want the label to be seen on the other side. So I'm gonna put these little pieces back because I can use them for lots of other fun projects. We're actually going to die cut right through this label with the foam adhesive strips. So let me bring my Big Shot into view and we will do just that. Now, I am not using the magnetic plate for this because it was pulling my letters every which way. So I actually changed it just to my regular plate. So if it looks a little bit different than normal, that is why. Because it was just moving my magnet or moving my letters around everywhere and I couldn't get, in, get them straight. So 
this is the difficult part here to get them all level like so how are all of you guys doing today you guys are very chatty i haven't really been able to look up and see the comments i always feel like i need like a helper to <laughs> sit here and just look at my comments <laughs> all right so we're gonna go ahead now that i have them organized like so i'm gonna carefully put this on top and we're gonna run it through narwhal oh karen nice so your husband was in the navy my grandfather was in the navy both my grandparents gra grandfathers were in the navy on my parents side and then my dad is a marine so yes i ditto what um cindy says thank him for his service okay so I have gone ahead and cut out the letters. Now, if we were using letters that have centers, like this O, this O has a center, we need to keep a hold of those because we are going to glue them down on the inside. So see if we do a hello like this without the center, it looks a little bit funny. But once we put that negative piece in there, it'll be like it was complete. So I'm gonna just pop these little sticky letters. You can use these for something else. They're ready to go. Um, or for my case, because they're sticky on the back, I'm just gonna throw them away because I don't wanna make a mess. But these would be fun for another little project. You can do the positive and the negative die cuts. Okay? Oh, I got backwards here. I don't know what I'm doing today, you guys. It's been a weird week. Okay. And where did I put my letters? Oh, I put them over here. All right. So isn't that cool? Now the back is completely sticky, which I haven't pulled, I haven't peeled it back yet. But um, now we can peel the backing off and we can glue it onto our white label. And hopefully I get this pretty centered. Excuse my head if it's in the frame. Okay, so there's hello. And then we can put our little O center. There we go, cute, right? Super easy to do. All right, let's build our whale. So here's what we need to build our little narwhal here. We're going to punch the body out of balmy blue cardstock. So just, oh, and you're also gonna need a fin. So go ahead and just punch the whole thing here out of the blue. And I flipped my whale over, so you can do a directional, whatever direction you want. And you need the little fin here, the little squiggly. The rest of these we don't need, okay? Now we're gonna punch just the um, bottom, long bottom section here. This is gonna be the bottom of our whale in white. So we've got our little bottom of the whale. And then we also need a water spout. So here is this water spout up here. And you actually have a couple water spouts. So you could do more than one. So you have these two that could be water spouts. But I'm just gonna use the one. And then we need a piece of basic black for this tiny little eye. So I'm just gonna take a scrap of black and punch the eye. And the rest of these little scraps can go away. All right, so let's build our whale. So we're gonna take some liquid glue and put some adhesive on the back of our little belly of the whale, I guess. And you're just going to glue that down to his belly. And then take his little fin. The nice thing about the punch is you could make two whales looking at each other because you could build one this way and build one that way. Since you're not stamping it first, you're just doing punch art. All right, so now I'm going to do his little eye. And just put that right over the glue and then I have his little spout so I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue up here at the end and glue the little water spout up at the top okay so there's our little whale now I'm gonna make a little horn for his little 
little horn there on the top of his head. But I'm, I just have a little tiny strip of whisper white and it, this is way, way, way too long. You don't need this long of a strip. But I'm just going to kind of work the paper so that it will start to curl. And I'm just going to curl up a little horn It could say, I whaley love you. So cute. I love, like I said, I love puns. I love the cute little play on words. And uh, this is a little fun, just a little fun. Okay, so I don't know how long we want his, his horn to be, but you can kind of squish it down a little bit so it's a little bit flat, but you're still gonna get that 3D look. I'm just gonna tear this off because I don't need that much. And I'm gonna use glue dots to glue this together like this and let's do another one on top okay and then we'll put his little horn right behind his head <laughs> so cute all right so we've got our whale we've got our hello now let's go ahead and start putting our base together we have a piece of balmy blue cardstock i'm gonna get my runner my seal and I have a piece of Whisper White. This measures um, five and three eighths by four and an eighth. Just gonna put that in the center. I also thought um, you could do, you could do all kinds of fun little punny words. And with these alphabet dies, it's just perfect. Now I wanna do, I do wanna point this out. Um, on the back side here, there's whales, and if you wanted to, you could punch the whales directly out of the cardstock or out of the designer series paper. So can you see that? You can actually punch these whales out if you wanted to, these larger whales. But we're going to use our little punch art narwhal for this one, and I just like this little underwater scene. This could also be a really cute baby card. Could you see that as this like a whale hello little one or um, you know little boy little boy baby card okay so we're gonna glue this down you can use liquid glue or snail like I'm doing it's kind of hard to use snail when it's uneven edges but we'll make it work so I'm just gonna glue this down hopefully it's fairly straight I'm also gonna put dimensionals on the back of my little whale and put him on and then we'll do the whale hello We'll do the little whale part, which is a portion of one of the stamps. So there's our little narwhal. And then there's a sentiment that says, whale done. And I am just gonna use the whale part. I'm gonna stamp it in balmy blue. So I'm just going to ink up the whale part. You don't need the done. And stamp that there. And then I'm just gonna fussy cut the whale part. This would be just a cute card to cheer somebody up, or like I said, a baby card. I mean, it could be for all kinds of fun things. Whale hello. I can't, and I have to say it like that too. Whale hello. And it always dries a little bit lighter than when I stamp it. But there you go, you guys. Isn't that adorable? I love this. I love it so much. Makes me so happy. <laughs> Little narwhal. Okay, that's it for me. You guys have a fabulous week. We'll see you next week for more fun. Bye-bye.